<sighs> I was bored in school. Lots of us were. And when kids are bored and restless, schools usually blame the kid. One in five high school boys diagnosed with ADHD. Millions are given drugs to try to make them sit still. I was the, the rowdy kid. That was the bad kid. And so they really, really pressured my parents to actually put me on ADHD medication. Adderall. Yeah, Adderall, Ritalin. It was like I, I had been lobotomized. And my, my parents said, this is not our son. They then sent him to other schools. He hated them all. I would come home, I would sometimes just cry. What better things could I have been doing during that time where I was just sitting in a classroom having information chucked at me? So what did you do? I left. He left because he heard about a school that teaches in a different way. Like, okay, so how do we actually increase our knowledge? The school is the academy of thought and industry. No I, I way. Found there. I found but the school costs money. I got a job at a coffee shop. To work here, he got up at 3 in the morning. By 3.30, he was in the shop, setting up tables and chairs, cleaning the counters. I would get the bacon frying, get ready, all, the, all the breakfast items ready. Hard work just to go to this school. Academy of Thought and Industry, it sounds Soviet. I want my students to think with their minds and understand the world, and I want them to get stuff done. Michael Strong started the academy, telling parents kids learn better by doing actual work. Teens need responsibility. Ben Franklin, Andrew Carnegie, Thomas Edison started their careers at the age of 12 or 13. Yeah, that was abusive child labor. I worked as a teen, I loved it. At his schools, there are now two with more on the way, students get Fridays off to work on their own projects. There are no lectures. Instead, students read and discuss things. Because there's still people and people still have certain drives. That's very different from schools strong attended and hated. School is 13 years of how to be passive, and how, be, how to be dependent. The Republican-controlled House of Representatives... Sit still, read, listen to your elders, repeat. Anyone know the effects? A school is about aim, 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 and never get stuff done. So I want students who, let's just go out there, get stuff done, fail, get up, try again. That's how we become creators, entrepreneurs. We want them to do what they love now. Cade was given projects like start a business today. Why was that more interesting than studying history or doing a science the, project? Because the money, because the money. Uh, I'm currently working on making a web-based chat application. Students study what they care about. I want to be a programmer. Uh, I love programming. We got to create a project and immediately start, you know, feeling the rewards of it. I was doing a few sketches for like the costume designs. I actually work at a paintball place. If they love paintball, then they should do a business in that. Dorian Domi started a music business. At this point in my career, I booked almost 200 bands. His music festival brings in tens of thousands of dollars. We have students who have done websites for American Idol finalists. These people used the website then as their own? For about nine months and then he fired the team and a high school team and got a better team. That was a great experience for my students. Uh, to get fired by a client is actually a really good experience. You do that several times and that's how you get better at getting stuff done. So companies hire strong students. Cade got a marketing job right out of high school. At a place called Launchpeer, which I currently am at today. People say you gotta go to college. Um, well, look at me. <laughs> Most of strong students do go to college. We've had students be admitted to top liberal arts colleges, Bard, Bennington. Of course they do well. You're charging fat tuition. Only rich kids can afford to go there, and they're going to do well. The t kind of kids that we get come from all walks of life. We had a student from New Jersey. He was incapable of functioning in the highly structured public school system. In middle school, elementary school, I was you know, incredibly socially isolated. In the public schools, he needed a full-time aid. He was costing the state an enormous amount of money. He came to our school. He did not need an aid. Coming here is just healing. It's incredible. So much so that some students wake up at 3 in the morning to go to work to help pay tuition. It was me choosing my life. 